All right, everybody, welcome to the Mark Hoke Show and SportsX Radio. And we are very excited to have the champion and the challenger for TNA Rebellion coming up here on Saturday, April 20th at the Palms right here in Las Vegas. And I want to remind both these gentlemen, Moose and Nick Nemeth, that no physicality, fellas. We got the word from Anthem Sports and Entertainment. Any physicality, it's going to cost you boys 50K. So, gentlemen, hands off. We are, of course, very excited in Las Vegas to have you guys back. Of course, the last time that you two were here, well, Moose, you picked up that TNA championship. A pretty good night for you, to say the least. How's things been going since you won the world title? Because you've been pretty dominant, my friend. Yeah, I mean, what did you expect? I'm the greatest wrestler that stepped foot into TNA wrestling. Um, last time I was here was a great night. I um, did exactly what I told everybody I would do. I would become um, the champion to start this new era of TNA. And Nick Nemitz showed up, and he... Um, no pun intended, made an impact, and he chose me to make an impact on. So um, full circle is me and him in the ring Saturday night, and payback's a bitch. Now, you told me in an interview that you didn't mind that he showed up. Um, I didn't, because uh, be honest, if I was in his shoes, I would have done the same exact thing. So I didn't mind he showed up. I mean, I am a company guy. I love TNA. I've been the um, flag bearer for TNA, and I'm happy Nick Nemeth is here. I just think it's stupid he chose me to make an impact on, and um, he's going to find out Saturday night how dumb he was to do that. Nick, was that stupid of you to do that? I am a high school graduate. I will not take that face-to-face -face that I am stupid. <laughs> um, uh, there's a, uh, you know, I've... I, bad guy, good guy, you name it, I will give credit where it's due because I'm a human being who studies this business more than anyone. And Moose has been absolutely dominant, especially with the system behind him, period. And yes, of course, if you're going to make an impact on your debut for a brand new rebrand of an up and coming company, where would you do it? In the main event of their premier pay-per-view against the brand new TNA World Heavyweight Champion. So of course, I picked that spot to make my mark and let Moose know you fought valiantly. You came through. You've, you're becoming a better world champion every single day. But you'll never be me. And that's yeah, That's not being braggy. That's not being humble. That's not being anything. Just saying facts. There's only one Moose and there's only one wanted man, Nick Nemeth. And one of us has a track record of being better than most and one of them is becoming one of the best i'm looking forward to saturday because one i get to show moose hey the guy you've been picking on and the roster you've been picking on they're gonna bite you back one of these days and maybe this saturday is the day that it happens so i didn't come to tna to be a really good guy who gets really close to becoming champion i've done that crap i'm going to become tna world champion and i hope it's saturday but I'm going to leave it all out there and I'll see if the moose can hang with me. Well, Nick, it's been an interesting road for you, obviously getting out of where you were and you've been all over the place too. Not just impact. You've been flying around and beating everybody up. I mean, it's been a incredibly impressive run for you over the past few months. And, and it's got to be exciting to have that freedom to do what you want to do. And, and now rolling into TNA and, having a chance to win the world championship just like that. Yeah, it, it is. And it, it isn't just like that. It's been three or four months, but yes. And as much as I went out of my way to say, I would not be stepping over roster talent because I respect them so much for a TNA world heavyweight shot, but Moose forced my hand. He jumped me. His buddies jumped me. And you think I'm just going to let it slide because of something I said? I have to fight back. Anybody on the roster would fight back if Moose and his cronies jumped him. So I totally understand that. But yes, I have been all over the world. I'm having a blast. Uh, I feel better than I've ever felt. I'm excited to work and I'm excited to fight. I'm excited to take on Moose because he's someone I've never been in the ring with. So the respect for that he has right now from me will be purely until Saturday. Then all that respect goes out the window. 
and then I take over as the general that I am and someone who's been there before, been able to, with a target on his back since day one, to actually follow through. So I don't know that he's ever seen that. And he can say anything he wants, say I'm dumb, stupid, whatever. But when we're just him and I in that ring, that's when it's going to click that the person who's been doing this for 19 years at an elite level you'll actually see it in my eyes and I'll actually notice when he takes that first step back and realizes this is the moment to where he gets to separate himself from everyone else on that roster as a genuine champion or someone who was pretty good and just couldn't hang with Nick Nemeth. Wow. Moose, that's some pretty strong words. Some, that's some strong words. <laughs> no. He's, he's writing a lot of checks that I don't think is ask a cash I prefer bearer bonds. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Moose, we've seen a lot of newcomers coming into TNA recently, too. You know, like Nick, Mustafa Ali, who first night comes in, wins the X Division Championship. Do you kind of feel like you're carrying the flag a little bit here for TNA to cut these guys in that are just rolling in and trying to take all the championships away from those of you that have been in the company for a long time? I mean, whoever been watching TNA knows I've been uh, I've been carrying the flag since I've been here. I've been here for what? eight nine years now so that's what i do um but back to what nick said i've i've studied a lot of nick's um adventures this last three months and i studied a lot of things he did what from where he came from and one thing nick is going to realize when he steps into the ring with me is with all the legends he's beat all the guys in japan he's wrestled all the guys in up north in new york he's wrestled None of those guys could lace my boots. There's a difference between me. There's a reason why I'm so great compared to all those guys that he's wrestled. And he's going to realize quick that I'm the best wrestler he's ever stepped in the ring with. Wow, Nick, that's some pretty strong words there, too. And uh, some of it's actually true. He is the flag bearing waiver of TNA. And I respect that. He said eight, nine years. I didn't even realize it was that long. That's fantastic. I love that. I love a company guy. No matter what your feelings are, no matter whether I think you're doing it the right way or the wrong way, I absolutely appreciate someone from inside the system becoming the company man, carrying the flag, becoming the world champion. I think that's fantastic. Um, assuming that I've never been in the ring with anyone as good as him, I feel like that's kind of ignorant. Um, I've been in the ring with the best. I am one of the best. I know that you're pretty good. I know that you're currently the world champion. And I know that a lot of times when the going gets rough, a lot of people, you find out who your friends are. You find out if you have what it takes to go that extra mile. When the going gets tough, from what I've watched, your friends just come help you. And that's it. Is that inaccurate? Not accurate at all, but if you think well, so. Well, I don't know if you call them friends, colleagues. If you think so. you think you pay so. them. Are they employees? If I'm not sure. If you think so. I mean, that's how the system works. Okay. Well, now, Moose, when you came in here, by the way, I saw you were looking. We have a Batman in the studio. Yeah. And you were saying, you know, you're kind of a superhero guy here. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, I've always been a big comic book kid as as, as a young adult, as a adolescent. And um, I noticed you had a Ben Affleck version of Batman, which is my favorite Batman. And, um, yeah, I'm just a big comic book guy. And I, I don't keep it to just one, one company. I watch DC. I watch Marvel. I watch everything. Nice. And, and he also showed us the shoe collection too. Yeah. That's uh, crazy. Yeah. By the way, of course, uh, our sports X radio fans might know you from the, your time in the NFL as well. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of shoes you're picking up along the way. Yeah. Um, the shoe thing started when I was in the NFL. Um, I had a contract with Nike. So with that, I pretty much had an account where I could get anything I want for the whole year. So that's where, um, I started that shoe addiction. So I think right now I'm up to about 523 pairs, something crazy. What is the best shoe for cross training purposes as a wrestler who's doing some like field house work slash getting prepared for the biggest match of their career this Saturday? I don't wear cross trainers, so I couldn't answer that question. But uh, what, 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 like, what's the shoe that you go to? You say you've got 500. Um, the shoe that I, have I go to. Two pairs of Chucks and two pairs of Jordans. You, um, probably some Jordan ones. You can never go wrong with some Jordan ones. Smart. At, at one point in my career, I did wrestle with Jordans on some um, Jordan Westbrooks, and then I decided that I wanted a traditional wrestling look and upgraded the boots. Now, 
Now, of course, for those that aren't familiar with Nick, Nick, you've done a lot of stand-up comedy. How's that going? I've done some stand-up comedy. It's been for years, but also I am a workaholic when it comes to wrestling, so I don't have a lot of time off. But any chance I get, I'll get up on an open mic and bomb trying some material or <laughs> crush a show around WrestleMania with my brother at Helium in Philadelphia. Uh, we usually kick off WrestleMania week or Summer Slams in Cleveland this year. Any huge wrestling event, no matter what the company, we always find a way to have a fun show. Hunkamania, my brother uh, books everything, and it's a blast. So I've been actually getting a couple reps in, and that's kind of cool. Uh, the extent of my superhero knowledge is my buddy said, you have to watch Iron Man. You'll love this guy because I know you, I know you don't do superheroes. I know you don't read comics, any of these things. But the, he said, uh, I'm absolutely starving. Get me a dirty martini. And I said, okay, I can relate to this guy. And that's the extent of my superhero knowledge. And of course, uh, we are in the K Dawn studios with the TNA world champion Moose and his challenger for the weekend, Nick Nemeth, as this is going to be an incredible clash at the Palms Saturday, April 20th. Man, you got to get down there. If there's any tickets left, buy them up and check this match out, along with an unbelievable card that is going to be coming up down there, plus the Impact Live TV tapings on Sunday as well as these gentlemen are going to be duking it out for the world title. And I got to say, you two seem to have a healthy respect for each other. I mean, you know, I don't know how I'd be feeling if somebody, you know, I won a world championship and somebody jumped me in the middle of the ring right after I won it. I'd pretty much be ready to rip their head off. And But you two guys are actually seem to be showing a little bit of, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, this is going to be a, a great challenge on either side. I mean, I'm I'm professional. Like I said, I, like you said, I played in the NFL for seven plus years, and I don't think going into a match pissed off is very smart. So I'm not gonna go into this match pissed off at Nick. Um, I'm gonna go in this match um, with a game plan that is gonna guarantee me victory, and I have to be smart about it. I have to uh, do the things that I need to do, and I, I don't need to cloud my brain by being angry and wanting to kill this guy, even though that's what I'm going to end up doing um, Saturday night is beating the hell out of him. But I um, I have to be smart about it. I mean, I have tons of respect for Nick. I think he's a great wrestler. I, I mean, look at, his, look at his career. Look at his track record. I mean, he's done a lot of great things. But he's never stepped into the ring with a guy like myself, a guy who previously called himself a wrestling god he's never done that so good luck to him saturday night and nick what do you think about that i mean like i said it seems like you guys are are really you know feeling a, a amount of respect for each other it's pretty impressive i mean if if the do if the door outside said gentlemen i would pay no heed and not make my way inside because i am no gentleman but i completely understand the business of professional wrestling and being angry right now would make no sense I'd rather let everyone know the intricacies of myself and Moose as we go on to the title fight because that's where the money is. That's where we want people to come see it. We do it right now. A couple people see it online later, and it's over with, and there's nothing for Saturday. Saturday is a huge card already, and it's going to be fun. Rebellion is going to be a blast. That locker room wants to outdo each other every single match, and when it comes down to the very last match, that will be one of the best matches you've ever seen one way or another. And I really appreciate uh, the years – that Moose has put in, but I love that he said he's thinking of a game plan for Saturday. Yeah, should my cronies come out five minutes in or 15 minutes in or 20 minutes in to try and help me save the match? That is a lot to worry about when you're managing you know, that many children or paying them. I don't know how the friend thing works, but what I think about is everything that he's done athletically, physically, verbally to me, that will be all part of this slow build up to a chess game to when once that bell rings, then it does become a fight. Then we do hate each other. And he makes a great point. I'm not going to cloud my head with, with rage right now. No, no, no. I have a game plan also. And it's to show everybody in the world, someone who says he's the best is going to get beat by me. And I can't wait to celebrate in Vegas afterwards. My question for Nick is what happens when I beat him and I don't need any help from anybody? Um, I would be very proud of you. Uh, but so far... I mean, history repeats itself. I haven't seen that happen since I've been here, since before I got here. 
or since months before I got here. So if you are going to go out above and beyond to try and outdo me one-on-one, -on -one, I welcome that. That is a genuine gentleman's duel. I would be all for it. And if I lost giving everything I possibly could, then I would understand that, you know what? You are better than me. You deserve to be champion. And the second that that doesn't happen, and I wipe the floor with you, even with all your buddies running in, and I hold up that title, and the entire world has a champion they can look up to and be proud of, then it's a different story. See, the problem here is Nick hasn't done his homework. He's thinking about this version of Moose, but forgetting that I'm a three-time TNA world champion. So you lost it three other times? Well, I'm a three-time TNA other times. world champion. Sorry, two other times. And I didn't have Eddie. I didn't have Brian Myers. And I didn't have Lish the other two times when I won it. So. Why do you have him now? Because if, if we're family. That's why I have him now. Okay. But... I'm My family is going to be there, but they're going to be sitting in the crowd. So I don't really understand this, but I, I appreciate it. I, just so I'm just happy. to let I'm you happy know, for I, I, I don't need those guys to win championships because I've done it two times, two other times without them. But. Moose, will you make the promise that the system's going to stay in the back of this match? Will you do it right now on k on the Mark Oak show? Will you do it? If you want me to do it? Do you want to do it? I promise you the system won't be out there. <laughs> Come on, oh, there you go. Oh. Nick? Uh, Are you I, buying it? Absolutely not. No? But you know what? I, I appreciate his dedication to the bit of telling the truth to you right now. I love that you <laughs> thought a wrestler came on your show and was telling you the truth. I'm just the man. system will not be part of this match. I'm gonna beat Nick Nemeth clean in the ring one, two, three by myself. Wow, that is a that is something that's been said by a lot of people, but not so much done. But I I look forward to it. A fair fight would be awesome. I think you can go. I think you're athletic as hell. I think you got the brain for it now as you're coming into your own, but you will never be me. And I cannot wait to beat someone who's doing really well and really up and coming because once one day in 10 years, 20 years when I retire, you can take my place. <laughs> we will see how this all turns out. It is going to be a terrific main event from two of the best wrestlers in the world at TNA Rebellion. Once again, that's going to be Saturday, April 20th, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to be kicking off here. Uh, I believe the kickoff show starts at 4 o'clock, and uh, you're going to be able to, of course, see it here live in Las Vegas on Triller TV uh, and on pay on pay-per-view. But I just recommend in town, go see this thing. And, of course, we're going to have Impact Live on Sunday as well. So all of these guys, I'm sure, will be in action on Sunday. It is going to be a fantastic weekend for TNA. If you weren't down there the last time, these guys put on a terrific show, and it is going to be another unbelievable weekend at the Palms with Moose, Nick Nemeth, and the rest of the TNA team. We want to thank you guys for coming in here on the Mark Oak Show and SportsX Radio. Gentlemen, I wish you all the best. We'll see how this goes, and we'll see if there's going to be a new TNA champion or if Moose is going to hang on and keep that belt. It should be an unreal night at the Palms coming up on Saturday. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in. Really do appreciate it. Pleasure seeing you in person for the first time. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Two of the best wrestlers in the world. Me being the best and whoever's in the ring with me being the second best. It's going to be great this Saturday. <laughs> there you go, guys. Nick Nemeth and Moose. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye.